it smells amazing over here. Something's going on over there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you gonna get? Do we want to get that? The twisted ambush. Oh, there's like a cool little photo spot over here. You see that? There's like a cool photo spot with all the exotic lamps. Hi. Uh, we're gonna do the twisted ambush, please. On the inside. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so the gong is for the ambush. Every time somebody orders, that's great. I wouldn't drink that water, but who knows. There's a veggie bow. Whoa. <laughs> They're out of veggies, so the veggie's selling well, I guess. This was called the Twisted Ambush. So every time one of these is ordered, the gong goes off when they have it all ready to be served. And they're worried about an ambush happening. Thing is beautiful. So it's exotic fruits, which just look to be like maybe mango and pineapple. Did you say fruits? <laughs> then there's uh, crystallized hibiscus, which is the pink stuff on there, and it is a pineapple orange Dole Whip swirl, and then pokey. Oh, hello! You look marvelous!
pineapple princess while perched on a net. <laughs> Is that irony? So it's like 8.30 and we decided since we didn't eat at all, we were going to come back to the tropical hideaway and give everything a try. I think we're ordering everything off the menu. Um, so the vibe here is still really cool at night. I mean, it looks even better, obviously. But the one qualm I can see being a big issue around here is the fact that there's only one line when you walk in and it separates into two lines, but there's not anybody divvying it up. So the Dole Whip station has its own line and then the food, like the Bows and the Lumpia, have its own station. But you just walk into one line, so you could be waiting on the Dole Whips and stuff before they actually go down. Um, Hopefully that's something that I will start to figure out as it actually opens and as they start to progress a little bit more. But until then, this is what we're dealing with. So we have the sweet lumpia with the pineapple sauce here. This I believe is the veggie. I believe this is the beef. And then this is the chicken lime. And we got hot sauce. All of this, because there is no AP discount, was about $30. Uh, really not too bad, especially if these end up being filmed they seem like they're they're pretty they're pretty full so i mean hers busted open and it's it's pretty full in there so excited to try everything out and see where it goes So let's talk, let's talk steamed buns for a minute. There's three and they are $6 each, but you can buy them as a set, as a trio. And it comes out to $15.99. So that's cool. You can save a couple of bucks there. Um, the veggie one was definitely Indian inspired. The beef one was a bulgogi. So it was Korean inspired. Um, and the chicken one tasted very much Thai inspired. There was a little bit of lemongrass. It was like a chicken chili spice and lime. So a little bit of all over the place as far as the flavors go. Um, I really like the beef one. I think the beef one was my favorite. Tosh really liked the chicken one. I think that was your favorite. Um, and something cool to note for vegetarians is that the vegetarian option was actually in its own steam case, which is rad that they're that thoughtful about, you know, the placement of food. And next, all we have to try is the sweet lumpia. How's everything though? Um, this is good. But the sauce? The sauce. If you like pineapple, the sauce. Also, let's talk about this hot sauce real quick. Make sure you get it. It's very important to the meal. Also, they don't like ask you if you want it. You just have to tell them. So make sure you get it. It's definitely spicy. There's a bit of ginger in it. It lingers a little bit. It was uh, it was a good addition to the meal. I think it made everything 
a little bit better for sure.